Hi, Brief Calculus students. I wanted to go over uh, some of the homework on page 170 and show you how to use your calculator to do some of these definite integrals right here. Let's see if I, uh, scooch the page down. There we go. Alright, I'm going to pull up my calculator, turn it on, and go ahead and clear this out. Um, remember, when we're doing the definite integral, we're just finding the area under the curve here. So let me just put in, uh, let's say number 3. Negative 3x squared plus 5. Okay, let's just go ahead and graph that. And we've got a curve right here. We want to go between 1 and 2. So I'm just going to go second calc. And then right here at number 7 is the definite integral, not the indefinite. It will only do uh, numerical values. So the lower limit is right here at the bottom, 1. And then the upper limit up here at the top, uh, 2. Calculate. And the answer comes out being negative 2 because there's more below the x-axis than above. Uh, if I try number 5 here, 1 over x, and just got rid of my calculator, sorry. Clear that out. 1 divided by x. Go ahead and graph that. Very interesting. Um, obviously, we can't go include 0 in our interval because it's not defined there. So we just want between 1 and 3. Second calc, number 7, lower limit 1, upper limit 3. There we go. There's the area between right uh, the function and the x-axis. Negative below, positive above. Let's see. Um, number... we got to move this down again. Um, Number 10 came it was really interesting because it seems like the limits are backwards. See, the lower limit's 2 and then 1. So it's basically like we just flipped it above or flipped it below. We're just going to flip that one. So let me clear this out. Negative 2x plus 1. Graph that. Straight line. We want to know between 2 and 1. So second calc. Number 7. Lower limit 2. And see, I was trying to point this way. Well, we're going to flip it and come back here to 1. And so even though it's below the x-axis, it comes out positive. It's just like we flipped it up. And that's how you use your calculator to find definite integrals.